Hello friends in this video we are going to see a type of core losses which we call as eddy current losses so the eddy current losses arises when iron core has to carry ac flux so in the figure I have shown a coil carrying a current and it generating a AC flux phi. By Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, this flux phi is linked with the surface and give rise to a EMF, which results into eddy current. What are the problem with this eddy current? This eddy current is flowing throughout the entire length of the core, and that results into I square R losses. and because of this losses core heat up so obviously this is a problem which will be there in case of a transformer as well as rotating machines so we need to tackle this problem so for that purpose this is a solution so we'll say how to reduce eddy current losses so what we'll do we'll split the core in two lengths so that length will get half and voltage induced in each section will be one half of the earlier case so that eddy current will reduce considerably but while making a half one thing we need to take care and that is we need to provide a insulation between these two half so what will happen because of this emf induce will get half because flux link to the core will be half since emf induced will get half hence eddy current produced will also be half so here we are able to get half of the eddy current so that eddy current got reduced what if this core is subdivided into several sections of very thin laminations then maybe we could irradiate repeat we could remove this eddy current losses significantly see how so for that the circuit diagram repeat for that the structure will be like this so here i have divided the core in several subsections and all these are insulated from each other now this is a small part or you can say a small circle representing eddy current in one lamination which is very very less compared to the earlier cases hence i can say if i have number of sheets which we also called as laminations insulated from each other so that eddy current losses can be reduced so therefore most of the time transformer and rotating machine core is made up of thin laminations 
and the width of this lamination sometimes will be 0.35 mm to 0.5 mm but these laminations are insulated from each other to reduce eddy current losses now let's see the empirical formula of this so the eddy current losses can be calculated using an empirical formula the eddy current losses can be calculated using an empirical formula which says p equal to ku into v multiplied by f into t multiplied by b max whole square where pe is nothing but the eddy current losses unit is watt ke is material dependent constant v material volume f supply frequency b max maximum flux density and t is lamination thickness So if you see the formula once again you will come to know that eddy current losses depends on square of the frequency maximum flux density and most important lamination thickness is so if you are having a very very low thickness in terms of a millimeter or maybe a points of millimeter then the eddy current losses can be reduced significantly thank you